had with Lancashire Police and with uh, Superintendent Sally Riley, who has been leading this investigation. There are suggestions that if their theory is true, and that is their main hypothesis, that 45-year-old mum of two, Nicola Bully, fell into the river wire, uh, if that is true, then it is very potential that she could have flown, uh, that could have gone down this river and out uh, through to the coast. Now, there has been extensive searching of the river wire. There's around a 15 kilometre uh, path of, um, of water that they need to search from the bench where her phone was found, where her dog Willow was, uh, and the lead for the dog as well, all the way down to the mouth of the river wire, which goes out into Morecambe Bay. Uh, now, about an hour or so ago, uh, Sky News actually witnessed a couple of police boats heading out uh, off the coast into the sea before returning back onto the river wire and heading upstream. We can see some footage filmed by uh, my producer Darren Little earlier today where we saw two boats on either side of the river. They were specialist police teams actually searching for either Nicola Bully herself or any evidence relating to her disappearance. We're actually right now based around halfway between the bench where she was uh, last seen and where that, that phone was left unlocked uh, to the coast as well. So we're about halfway down the river wire right now. And what is quite interesting uh, is the first time that we've actually seen this, Jane, is that this river, as we know it, is a very tidal river. So the tide comes in and goes out and, and the river is flowing quite rapidly, actually, probably uh, the quickest we've seen it. So what police are saying is that this investigation, this whole search operation is incredibly complex because of the nature of this river. The tide goes in and out quite rapidly. And so whatever is on the bed of the river wire, what is whatever is floating on the surface of it will be moving with the tide of this river as well. It's why now Lancashire police have said that they need to focus their operation their search and investigation actually uh, towards the mouth of the river to ensure that there is nothing that's gone uh, uh, through the coast and into the sea. So it is a, a very big part uh, of the, the river wire that they are searching. It will take a, a lot of resource, a lot of time, but we now can confirm that there is police searches going on uh, off from the mouth of the river wire uh, on the coast and into the Irish Sea around Morecambe Bay and police will be searching here for some time until they find anything relating to her disappearance. Okay, Inzi, and just as Inzi has been talking to us, the police have confirmed that and they've also uh, released a statement saying that they've had to, uh, they can confirm that a dispersal order was issued around 8.40 yesterday evening. Uh, this is because people have been filming on social media close to some of the properties in St Michael's. Uh, the police are saying that for the next 48 hours they've got the power to disperse anyone committing antisocial behaviour. A number of people have been warned about their behaviour there. The police say they hope it will give people some reassurance they'll not tolerate criminality, including trespass and criminal damage. Also, the police saying that they're aware of a number of grossly offensive comments being made on social media and elsewhere. They're looking into these and they will not hesitate to take action.